I considered myself a friend of Myra's. I met her uh, by, everything is by accident, by divine providence. I was in Israel and she came uh, with a friend looking for the, ra the rabbi in the neighborhood. And since the rabbi wasn't home, one of the girls was sent to get the rabbi from the synagogue. And I entertained her while he was fetched. We really hit it off. We have the same birthdays a year apart. And um, at that time, my birthday was coming up and she gave her first donation to uh, the Mayanote group in honor of my birthday and I was touched. Nobody ever gave $10,000 in my, in my honor before. We had business off and on and not real business but just friendly, friendliness. I got some Patriot tickets from her one year. We were, I was with the rabbi in Boston and uh, she said to me, I learned the, the meaning of crass at that time. She said, I hope you won't think I'm crass, but are you planning to pay for these tickets? And I said, of course I am. And that's why we were able to be good friends. Uh, we spoke a, a, a little bit off and on, and I was uh, honored to hear Robert use my uh, expression as he was explaining why the tuck rule was working in one of their championship playoff games. I said, um, it had to do with God. Uh, God, God will, God rules, something like that. But he quoted me on air. He didn't quote me, but he quoted the quote. And uh, we still, we do feel that we have, we have a connection with him. And Mara was really a good woman who did a lot of good things in her day. And uh, she's, I can't say she spread herself thin, but she really lived every single one of her years. She lived them fully. And uh, being in the house at the time of Shiva and seeing her big table there and all her, the prospective family members who used to come there, it was really something special that she was a home buddy in, a different, in addition to being a world buddy. Thank you. Thank you.